They brought him before the magistrates and said, These men are Jews and are throwing our city into an uproar by advocating customs unlawful for us Romans to accept or practice. The crowd joined in the attack against Paul and Silas, and the magistrates ordered them to be stripped and beaten with rods. After they had been severely flogged, they were thrown into prison, and the jailer was commanded to guard them carefully. When he received these orders, he put them in the inner cell and fastened their feet in the stocks. About midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the other prisoners were listening to them. Suddenly, there was such a violent earthquake that the foundations of the prison were shaken. At once, all the prison doors flew open, and everyone's chains came off. Came this. Uh, Paul and Silas, after they were evangelizing, were taken, beaten, and thrown into jail when locked, and their feet were locked and buckled up. And through all of that, what were the reactions? How would you react when put in this situation when beaten and uh, stripped of your clothing and thrown into a cold prison? Would your reaction be, wouldn't your reaction be upset or mad? But what I like is how Paul and Silas, they took this, and through all of that, they were praying and singing hymns. Even when we go through something tough and painful, we know as our names are written in the book of life, we can rejoice and give God our praise. We need to learn how to give God our praise, even when dealing with tough times. It's a renewing of our mind. It's something we have to constantly teach ourselves, something we have to constantly um, practice and put into action. We can also open to Philippians chapter 4. We'll be reading from verses 4 through 13. Verse 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Verse 12. I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. So he states, with faith, the Lord is at hand. Enter into anything with prayer and faith that God will answer. And as a result to thanksgiving and faith, he will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus, giving you the peace of God. And what amazes me, what I really like, how I, how I see uh, Paul, Paul is writing a message of uh, to rejoice, to give God the praise. And what amazes me is this whole time he is in a prison cell, the whole time he's writing these letters, he's not in this comfortable place. He's not saying this, oh, well, uh, he's at home, he's comfortable, he's, he's in a safe place, but instead he's writing all this in a prison cell where it's uncomfortable and going through this place of suffering. And that's why I love it because he's actually putting these words into action where he's in this place, this zone of uncomfortability, and yet he still finds a spot to give God the praise and give him all the glory. And first of all, he already, uh, and he already accepts the facts of either being in need or in having plenty. So again, he has a renewing of, our, of his mind. He has a renewing of his mind where he, there's either the bad, the bad situation where he's in need, or there's a situation where he has plenty. But in both situations, they're the same, or the same way that we should think about is giving God the praise through both situations, whether in bad, whether in good, whether in plenty, whether in need. It should be the same where to give God the glory no matter what, and through that, he gets glorified and flung over. Even when we go through, some, through something tough and painful, you know, as our names are written in the book of life, we can rejoice and give God our praise. We need to learn how to give God our praise, even when dealing with tough times. 
enter into anything with prayer and faith that God will answer, and as a result to thanksgiving and faith, He will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus, giving you the peace of God. When we rejoice, we don't rejoice for the things of this world, for the earthly things, but instead we rejoice knowing our name is in the book of life. Uh, and through, and as, um, before we pray, I want us to remember, through Christ, He is the one who gives us strength. Let us pray uh, as we kneel down and give God all the praise. Amen. Amen.